Hello everyone, so welcome to the tutorial video for Epidata. Uh, so today we are going to discuss uh, about Epidata, so how to download and install Epidata, so how Epidata works. Uh, similarly, the terms like uh, defining data, uh, make data, checks uh, or entry of data, how to enter data, save and export data from Epidata. So first of all, um, if you don't have uh, the software Epidata, so you can just download simply by going to the website uh, known as epidata.dk. So after that, uh, the place something this like uh, opens. So you might be confused. So which uh, which of the applications should be uh, installed or download? So for that, simply click on the download. Then you can just see here the various versions for Epidata like uh, Manager, Entry Client and Analysis, uh, similarly Template Pressure, Epidata Analysis Classic, Epidata Entry. So today uh, we are just uh, about to talk about uh, Epidata Entry. So for that you can just click uh, on this button. You can just see here uh, Complete Setup. So just click on that, then the file will be downloaded as shown here. So then you can just click on that uh, set a file, then install as given the instructions. So I'm not going that because I've already installed the data. So after installing Epidata, just open, then you must see something like this. So before uh, just going deeply to Epidata, uh, first let me introduce uh, out the epidata so what is epidata so uh, epidata it is simply the program for entering and documenting data so epidata it is suitable for a simplest database where you uh, you know you have one source of data for example uh, questionnaires uh, as well as database uh, sets with many are branching data forms so I have already told you the uh, steps to download Epidata. So, <coughs> how Epidata works? Uh, Epidata, uh, you can see the screen here. Epidata, uh, which contains uh, layout, the standard Windows layout with one menu line. You can see here file, checks, data in, out, documents, tools, windows, help, <coughs> and the next two lines are two uh, lines are toolbars. So for that, first of all, we must uh, know how to define data. Secondly, make data file. Three, check process. Four, enter data. Five, document. And six, export data. So we'll be starting from number one here, defining data. So what is define data? data uh, so define data by writing three types of information for each variable. We'll talk about a uh, variable uh, after a few times so uh, before that we must set an options how can we do that so first on file menu then options then you can see here create data file so this is uh, one of the most important steps uh, before uh, defining data uh, going further first word in question is field name and second option also you can choose automatic field names so what does this means I will be talking after a while. So uh, I suggest to put the uh, first word in the question uh, is field name. So okay. So for that, uh, first we should define data or just what is the questionnaire? What are the questions that we are about to enter here? So we'll just enter the questions. So I have one format uh, for the question here. Uh, Okay, so here is the one sample. This only the sample. The questionnaires uh, might be different uh, according to the research or any other thesis proposed. So this is one of the, uh, one of the simplest uh, questionnaire that I have prepared uh, just for this Epidata. So how can we just uh, enter all these questions in Epidata? Okay. Uh, yes, here you can add a uh, form number, district, municipality, ward number. And similarly, the multiple choice questions like uh, sex, A, male, B, female, marital status, married, 
unmarried, divorced, separated, widow, similarly age, religion. So how we uh, can just enter these data? So it's uh, quite very uh, simple. So I'll be just talking uh, step by step. For that, first of all, go to data, uh, define data, and click on new file, new dot QS file, Q means question files. I simply you can uh, know in that way and open 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 means uh, the file that we have already created and just need to be edited uh, can be opened from here so we are just creating new one so I'm going to click on new okay so then spin a white screen appears like this then we'll be just uh, start typing survey questions okay first the title as you are V E Y survey uh, D -I -D title survey title okay then form number form number okay so what is the form number suppose uh, we are collecting data for at least 100 200 300 or more than 500 so that is in numeric form okay so uh, I'm putting here hash 3 as so which includes three numbers like uh, up to 100 999 uh, for form number 1001 you cannot or you can start simply write one this means that uh, three characters can be just typed in this way so one uh, has character or this uh, special character indicates uh, one word yeah you can see I have just typed a three okay okay so enter so that uh, thing I was talking just uh, before was the variable this so uh, just remember that this form form the first word of any number will be defined as the uh, data here so simply file options okay create data first all in the equation is field name so this form will be the field name so what actually it indicates that we'll be talking uh, in uh, after some time so okay first word and the remaining will be in description okay so secondly uh, district district okay and space so this means here uh, the defined data file and district so this will be in the form of text so I am just writing here underscore so how many underscores uh, you give will be the character the number of character of the space so district okay so district it will not be in the form of text or uh, whether we have just coded the district like um, the one district as number one the second district as number two it depends so I am just using here the text so that uh, it will be just typing the name of the district similarly next one municipality so similar same goes to this the underscore you are giving is the character of the word here okay okay next one enter and the next one is word our number okay so word number this will be simply in the number not in text so we are giving there one has two s okay so word number will be one two three four ten fifteen twenty twenty five or uh, that version okay so this was the questions uh, related to text and number so you will be uh, further knowing what does this actually indicate so let's go on uh, okay so the next one is uh, the demographic characteristics like you can see here now you can just see here as I have already typed uh, this uh, the questions here so next comes the questions okay so to indicate this one we can just uh, write question number one or q1 space okay now your q1 indicates the defined data here field name sorry uh, the first one in the equation is field name so now this is the field name j1 and now the remaining will be in the descriptions okay 
okay so now in question number one uh, okay the question is about sex okay you can see here sex a male and b female so how can we just include this okay for that sex uh, male or female you can just uh, what, uh, manually type ml male and female female or the simplest way you can just code their numbers as one or two one indicates male and two indicates female okay so i am giving you only one as the any persons that is giving the interview are, are involved in survey okay so six as i've already told you enter so similarly for question number two space material status status okay so metal status married unmarried divorced separated or widow here we have five options you can just see here uh, married unmarried divorced separated and widow okay so for this also uh, you can just code uh, simply one for number one married for number two unmarried three divorce like this okay so only one hash is enough okay and so similarly the next question just you can see here uh, okay let me just divide this files okay so then uh, marital status similarly for question number three sorry q3 question the th uh, question is age so it's uh similarly that will be in the numeric form so what is the age let's give here 299 or above 100 might be in re re very rare case so only three has i'm giving here so similarly just keep on typing all the questions like this in for religion religion same the case here we can just code here hindu christian muslim buddhist and others these are multi-choice questions here so we can simply code here uh, one hash okay now next question number five ethnicity ethnicity same goes for this question number six six now type of family type of family so what's the type of family just see here the questions so nuclear joint and extended okay we have three options here so we can just go here and just keep on going for remaining our education status education same goes for here mm -hmm. question number eight so in question number eight, okay. So from here, the next type of questions come here. Anyone working in abroad from the respondent respondents family? Okay. So uh, this question was just made for this tutorial video. So survey questions uh, may not include just uh, as this directly this question. So I'm just uh, I'm just collecting these questions for this tutorial video. Might I think hope you understand that. Okay. So in question number eight, any one um and one sorry okay anyone working abroad okay i'm just uh typing this much for now abroad okay yes and b no you can just see here there are two options uh yes and no right okay i'm sorry uh, anyone working in abroad from the respondents family yes and b no if no 
jump to question number nine okay so yes and no for that only one as and if yes which country okay from this um, equation number it's the sub question of the question number 8.1 okay which country okay so which country this is in the form of text we can just type here so we'll be just giving uh, the underscore uh, and a next same sub question goes here question 8.2 from when okay so from when then uh here you can just maintain since one year since uh one month uh it has already been two years three years so that is in numeric form okay so i'm just uh, giving you the example of numeric form here so let's say might be also more than 10 years so two has or two digits or two characters now question number nine okay nine responded by occupation okay so let me just write here occupation so what is the occupation of the respondents he might be or years he might be farming households trade business so this is a multiple choice questions in this i have already mentioned that we can just code for this as number one two three four five or six okay so we have already completed the survey questions here okay uh, we are still in the phase to define data here okay now you can just see here uh, these are all other questions here okay so uh, we have completed to just uh, define the data so now next process comes here that is to make data file okay so how can we make your data uh, okay so the second step comes here about making a data file while clicking this uh, we can see here two options here make data file and preview data form okay so when we just click here uh, preview data form then we can just preview our form okay so uh, this is the structure of uh, preview data form okay so this is the preview of uh, data form then you can just see our questions uh, questionnaires here just by clicking at the bottom here and title one i have not given any file name and preview data here okay so second step is to make data file make data file set changes to untitled one okay yes okay so i just prefer you that uh to uh, just make a separate folder or just remember the file name for this okay so i'm just uh, giving your name survey survey questions okay survey questions and uh, the destination is desktop here so i'm just creating your one folder name ep so i'm just saving inside uh, this folder so that the data might not be misplaced while just searching save okay so data label for uh survey questions i uh, so you can just leave this as into here okay so it has been created okay so where does this file exist is here okay i just choose the destination uh to desktop here you can just see here if it are also i'm sorry in this ep okay so this is questionnaire and the direct this is the file that we just saved now okay so when we open it will be open from notepad and the questionnaires here okay now while going to the further uh, step the next process is uh, just to check the data that we created just now okay so how can we check the data this is the third step here you can just see here right okay checks Uh, 
okay so when we click on the button checks then the file that we have created or the data we have just created in that track will be opening the same file okay so what does this uh, functions is that we can see our different options here from arrange jumps must enter repeat value level etc so what does this all indicates we are going to learn about that now okay so let's move forward okay the first range are legal defines which data can be entered from range okay for from number one just i have as mentioned my uh, the form of the data collection maybe might be 100 200 or 300 so what's the range okay so for example i am putting here 100 okay sorry 0 to 100 not 0 let's say 1 to 100 okay so 1 to 100 so when we just enter the value uh, out of the uh, range means up to when we just uh, enter 101 then that will not be uh, defined uh, there will be some error okay so we are defining so we can just uh, know where the mistake is we can just find out the mistake where it was okay so jumps you can just uh, put as it is must enter means uh, does this form number is uh, necessary or required yes of course it is so yes repeat uh, no because we have from form number 1 to 100 okay so repeat no value level no okay we'll just keep on as it is save and uh, next one district so when we just click here form number we can just see a number it is in number form and when we just click on this district here then it is in the form of text okay so text uh, must enter okay yes you can just click here repeat okay district it might be repeat because uh, there might be number of respondents from the same district value level you can just skip as it is here okay save municipality it is in text okay must enter uh, when we have district it might not be that much important too but uh, you can just put here yes repeat yes because the respondent may be from same municipality value levels you can just skip as it is here save so next one word number okay so what number it is the number so if you want you can just uh, put here from 1 to 10 or 1 to 50 anything else or you can just leave as it is must enter okay you can it might be necessary must enter okay repeat it might re get repeat save so next questions come six okay so now the main matter comes here so as before i have mentioned that okay simply ask the question six male and female so how can we just enter the data is that by coding must enter yes repeat yes value label okay so we'll be labeling here now okay so just click on the small plus here then this uh, box just appears here so for that you can just code one space we can put in inverted comma for single uh, inverted comma or for single that might not be that much necessary but you can put mail and enter and for number two similarly fe female female okay so you can just see here okay so six a male b female so we have coded as six one as male and two as female okay so just click accept and close and save okay so while entering the data when the um, respondent is male then you can just type one and when the uh, respondent is female then you can just type two so it might be it becomes very much easier while entering the data as we should not type manually male male female female so you can just code the number one for male and two for female okay similar goes to the next one material status let's check the questionnaires here uh, okay 
Uh, okay. So same goes for this. Uh, marital status a married b unmarried c divorced d separated and e widow we can just code a number must enter uh, yes okay so let me just give the value levels here uh, one hindu sorry Marital stress and they are married for two and married close three inverted comma space inverted comma divorced uh, similarly number four. separated number five widow okay w d o w okay now uh, segment close save and similarly for age okay so this is in number so you can just type uh, anything here uh, must enter yes okay repeat that nice get repeat save and just go same process for all the questions okay for example religion uh, religion must enter yes okay repeat no here also goes uh, the labeling here religion one for sorry one space hindu two Christian three Muslim number four Buddhist and similarly number five just mention it as others okay just click and save similarly for ethnicity religion okay this is a pen save and for ethnicity so which ethnicity does they belong must enter you can just type here is might get repeat okay so we just add the values here for number one mm, Dalit Number two, Zanuzati. Zanuzati. Number three, Brahmins. Number four, Chetrich. Okay. Then just click on S7 close. Okay, I just got to enter. Okay, accept and close. Save. Similarly, go for the type of family here. Yes, okay. Yes, you can just put yes. Okay, according to your need. One nuclear, two joint, three. Extended okay. Uh, SF and clothes save education status okay. Must enter yes. You can just put attributes and just add the values here. Mm, okay, one illiterate two primary level education. 
I'm just writing here in short format primary level education, three secondary level education, four. Ajay, the higher okay. Essay print clothes. Save. And similarly, the next question comes here. Anyone working in abroad? So the question is anyone working from abroad from the respondent's family. Okay. So the answer might be only yes or no. Uh, okay, so for that. Range yes, one, two, no. Let's give the values for this two one for yes, and two for no. Okay, it's a friendship. So, one thing, uh, just remember that the range you can just put there according to the, your choice. So, uh, here are in this question, there are only two numbers. 1 and 2. We have just given here coding. Okay. So I can put here 1, 2, 2. Means if I just uh, enter the data rather than number 1 and 2, that becomes the error. This will show while entering the data. Okay. So I have kept a uh, range uh, legal 1 and 2. Save and in this question. Okay. Jumps. Now here comes the next matter here, jumps. Okay, so what does this really mean? Uh, this really means is that all the families members may not be in the abroad. Only some of them might go. So the answer may be 1 yes and 2 no. Okay, so if anyone uh, is abroad, then they will say yes. It means we will be uh, just entering the data 1 as yes. And it uh, goes to next question. So when the answer comes to or uh, when there are no any families that are in the abroad the answer becomes two okay so two greater than so when the answer comes to then jump to question number nine okay why because when no one is going in the abroad then there is no use of these two questions that is question number 8.1 and question number 8.2 okay so which country and from when so that's why when the answer comes simply no we can automatically jump to the question number nine that is occupation okay hope you got it save okay so uh, which country this is for yes so which country this in text so you can just enter yes no because it's in the text uh, we can just type manually here because we'll be will be not uh, no will not know whether the family members are in this country so might be they may be in the different country so from where it's the number since one year two year you can just type here yes or my this question might not be that much important so you can just leave as it is and the occupation uh, okay yes yes and give the level values here okay so uh occupation according to a questionnaire uh, let's give the level in one farming two household works three business uh, trade And next number four government service number five daily with maybe labor okay and for number six let's keep uh, others okay accept and close oh sorry okay I just kept your space which should not be given and you need space okay accept and close okay save okay 
so this was the third number that is uh, to check add or revise the entry of the data okay so finally we have saved all this okay so you can just check the question it's here uh, okay so let me close this now okay so we have all saved this then just click on your close okay so we have also have completed the checking that is number three yeah okay so now the next step comes is to enter the data for that just click on your number four enter data okay so this is the question that we just uh, defined data we made data file there this we have also checked all the questions for entering data open okay so now this is the questionnaire now let's take an example to fill the form okay form number uh, I'm starting from one so let's say number one so have you just remembered that we have given the name or range from 1 to 100 so when I just press 123 yes okay illegal entry so this becomes easier right to find out the mistakes okay uh, legal values are only for on, from 1 to 100 okay so this made us made us easier to find out the mistakes one district that is uh, in the text from text let me get it in Kathmandu municipality let's say Kathmandu itself is just for an example okay word number I'm giving uh, one itself and six okay here comes six mail so when I type here and okay when I try to uh, type mail M-A-L-E it doesn't because it's in the form of uh, value that we have coded one for male and two for female okay so say, suppose one male marital status also same as it is married unmarried is yes, okay it's, this is in the form of text here okay let me so in detail here uh, okay Okay. Okay, if data. Okay. It's in number so is let's say twenty five and uh, religion hindu christian muslim buddhist and others right okay suppose that is question b b means that is number two okay so ethnicity dalit jamzat is let's say it's brahmin that means three means c three type of family nuclear joint and extended one for nuclear two for joint three for extended right okay so let's take an example c that means three we have just coded three okay educational status literate illiterate uh, let's keep here one anyone working abroad okay so here comes the next questions here yes or no okay if yes one yes the question is simply skip to question number 8.1 right which country okay let's say Uh, USA okay USA from when since one year okay one occupation farming household okay farming for farming let's say it is farming one okay save record yes okay now that one records has been saved and this is another one okay you can see here new at the bottom here new by one okay one uh, form has already been saved and this is the next new form okay so now this is form number two let's keep all as it is okay metal status let's say keep a one then the next question also arrives here when the uh, anyone isn't working in abroad see the question is just skip to question number nine when i type two means no means this there's no use of this two question so it directly skip to question number nine okay so 
let me finish this two occupation let's say two okay save record yes see now two forms have been saved and this is the third form that is coming okay three then just uh, edit as you need okay Kathmandu uh, district uh, let's say okay Lalitpur Lalitpur municipality Godavari Godavari ward number let's say three okay see because there is only two coded value that is one for male and two for female when I press three there was illegal entry okay so this is female marital status okay now uh, working the abroad yes which country okay so let me get this India okay uh, India from when since two years occupation okay daily waste means five years six okay so on this way you can just go on and enter the data okay so you can just check if something is mistake there in form number anything you can just click here okay so this is a uh, form number three uh, this is form number two years you can just here if there's any mistakes you can just uh, correct from here and similarly you can just uh, go to number one also so this makes very easier so whenever you need to delete any form that was just saved you can just uh, go to that form suppose to and just click this the cross button delete record it will be deleted here okay okay so uh, okay so let me just fill up some more questions that's why uh, it will be very easier for you guys okay three uh, okay let's say I've saved this two and form number this is uh, three then next comes here four okay Lalitpur let's say ward number five male metal status married is uh, 45 let's say religion okay with this or something let's say type of family joint and wrote no okay so don't forget to edit this okay okay so occupation let's say farmer itself here let's say save okay so this is form number five okay this number indicates that you have just entered uh, four records and this is the fifth one okay okay so let's say there are game one gone okay and dubai dubai since five years okay occupation farmer yeah okay yes okay save that record yes okay so now i have record here five documents so you can just keep on going and record all the uh, necessary document data that you need Okay, so I'm uh, closing it this year. Okay, so that was in the step number four. Now step number five. That is document. Whenever if you uh, just need to enter the data again, just click on enter data. Uh, click on sort equations that will always be recorded, and just click on open here. Yes, okay. The same process will be resumed from the last time where you have closed. Okay okay so now document okay so from here you can just see or view all the entries that we have just entered okay for that just click on view data okay okay so this is the summary of or as a whole form that we have just entered okay so let me explain a few about this okay so this was the form number here and the district Kathmandu Pakhtapur Lalitpur uh, or any other Kathmandu Valley's district or from the whole 77 districts okay municipality we typed her manually here and ward number 1355 and this was the multiple choice question okay see for men we have just typed here 1 and for female we have just typed 2 okay and similarly for this all age Christian Brahmins extended literate yes no yes no yes no okay so this means uh, 
the respondents or any member of the respondents family has gone to the abroad yes so which country USA since when since one years okay so no that will be empty here see no empty okay so uh, when we have completed all the data entry then you can just check your document from here and to export data now the sixth step is to export the data for further analysis and securing data so for that you can use any other uh, you know analysis uh, applications the epidata you know the analysis program is available from the epidata.dk itself so you can just export the data for analysis in various data file formats like you know uh, Excel, SPSS, SAS, Stata, etc. And you can just further analyze that. Okay, see how to export the data. Export Excel, Stata, SPSS, SAS, Epidata, right? Okay, you can get your options, all the options to export the data. Okay, so this much for now. Okay, so suppose we have just uh, entered 50 data uh, in the same epidata and just you want to resume now. So, how can we start? Is that just uh, open the epidata app and then just no need to go to define data, make data file, or checks because we have already done this and save the file and this folder like this. Okay check questions questions regarded so each and every uh, items that you edited will just be saved in this survey questions that rec okay rec means regarded qes means questions that cs means check you can if there is anything that you need to check again then you just need to open this file so i'll just show you how okay uh, let me check this once more check okay this is the data I want to just check okay so I just want to enter the range for uh, this is okay because while entering the data the various number are also being in uh, inserted like three four so there might be mistakes so I just want to make the accurate for that so not to make more mistakes and other errors okay uh, six male and female there because there are only two numbers okay one and two we have already leveled here you can just see here one for male and two for female right okay so the range will be one just one from two okay jump no need to jump here okay save we have just corrected that okay and close now to enter the data enter data yes the same file okay from now we have already entered year 5 uh, so uh, I just gave an example of 50 okay so now let's continue from okay form number 6 okay let's say dharing and this uh, dharing let's see let's see or any other municipalities word number okay let's say uh, 7 okay so 6 we have just uh, corrected for this we have just set the value or the range one and two but whenever I just type here five okay see here now legal values are one to two and the values uh, defined by comment legal press okay so that means we can just type here one or two that is one for male and two for female okay so in this way we can just uh, you know uh, enter the data accurately without uh, having less chance of any errors or any mistakes there Okay, so keep on just uh, entering the data just like this. Save yes, then just go on for further save a number, then just save yes. Okay, so in this way you can just uh, open the AP data. You can just uh, prepare the questionnaires uh, for data entry. After you have collecting the data, you can just edit the files that you just needed. Okay okay and export the data here okay so if there is any problem regarding ep data in this video then you can just uh, comment below there the feedbacks and welcomes feedbacks are always welcomed so that much for today